1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and a half days is how long it would take to count to 1 million if you counted each number for one second. Count1million.com is currently counting up to 1 million. It started a few days ago. It will continue for a few more days. If you're anxious to see it hit 1 million, you can pay money to fast forward it. That's right. The rich get everything. But you can have these for free. These are fewer than a million dongs. Things you can do online now, guys. The International Space Station is constantly whizzing around the Earth, sometimes right above your head, other times directly between you and the sun or moon. ISS Transit Finder allows you to put in your latitude and longitude to find out when that will occur. Now, Smarter Every Day has a fantastic video documenting what it looks like when the International Space Station passes in front of not just the sun, but the sun and the moon during an eclipse. I highly recommend watching it because to see a still image is one thing, but to see it happen in in real time really gives you a sense of how small the ISS is and how quickly it's orbiting Earth. Of course, it is quiet up there in space, so let's stay down here on Earth and listen to a GIF? <laughs> you heard me right. This has been around for years, and it recently became viral again. People believe that they hear a sound from this GIF that of course isn't really there. It's only in their own minds. We don't exactly know what's going on, but it could be due to cross-modal correspondences. That's when different modes, different methods of receiving information about the world sort of interact. For instance, if you ask people to describe a lemon and a potato as either fast or slow, people will tend to say that lemons are fast and potatoes are slow. But of course, they don't have natural speeds. It's just that we associate bright colors and stringent acidity with speed and potatoes. They're kind of bland beigeness with slowness. That's a cross-modal correspondence. This GIF has such a wonderful vibration that our brains feel like there must be some noise there, even though that mode of receiving information sound isn't really there. We just link the two so closely through experience that we hear something. But now let's look at some aquatic macroinvertebrates. Now, an invertebrate has no backbone. An aquatic one lives in the water, and macro means large enough to see without a microscope. You can get really up close with these lovely beauties and learn all about them. Have fun. But if you want more of life than just aquatic macroinvertebrates, try OneZoom. You can zoom through billions of years of history with OneZoom Tree of Life. Start at, well, the beginning and go all the way to animals and even to humans. Once you reach the end of a branch or find a leaf that looks interesting, click on it to go to that creature's Wikipedia page. We are clearly a planet rich in diversity, but you may need a few more branches to fill up your piggy bank, because the rich is a, a bit of a pun. In Break the Bank, the pigs take control. Fight against the invading piggy banks to save your bank from crippling debt. To activate, click on the pink one and use the green squares to move them. Select any red square to hit your opponent and earn money, but if you get hit, you'll go into debt. And once you're a hundred grand in debt, you lose. Spend money on stronger hammers and more durable piggies. If you're wondering where wild pigs live, well, this map will tell you. And the next natural thing to wonder is what YouTube videos are geotagged to those same areas. So use YouTube GeoFinder. Just move the green point anywhere on the map. Adjust these factors to your liking and click search. A list of YouTube videos will appear. It's a great way to fulfill your YouTube watching needs without having a video in mind already. Once you're done scanning the globe for videos scan sequence. This website uses your webcam to play, well, pretty unpleasant music. When it sees you, start moving your fingers to play the strings. It may not sound perfect, but you can definitely tell that it is responding to your specific movements. Check this out. Okay, that's not good. Um, let me try again. Still bad, but at least I'm making progress. This page is covered in progress bars, showing how long it will be before the next minute, hour, year, St. Patrick's Day, Halloween, end of the page, oh, ah, oh, or the end of the universe, or at least the end of useful energy being around. That progress bar, by the way, is the slowest filling progress bar anyone could ever witness. So sit back relax and watch it fill up, but don't hold your breath. 
That said, you can live the entire rest of your life without breathing. And as always, thanks for watching.